introduction to Hollow Earth could mean that we will get to explore more of it, but not with a monster that just arrived there after his big battle with the King of Monsters, but rather with his son, who will be the living proof that Kong was not indeed the last of his species, with the reason behind Kong's son being the one to explore the whole concept the connection between this movie and the original Son of Kong movie from way back. As of right now, when we look at the bigger picture, we are still not quite sure as to where the monsterverse is going. However, we should be looking at one of the biggest universes in the world, especially if the rumored kaiju from the Pacific Rim franchise is to take part in the monsterverse's future, ruling out any slowdowns in the process. The hype reached a higher ground after we saw the epic battle between Godzilla and Kong in the latest Godzilla vs. Kong movie, with it probably being the best setup the franchise could have asked for in any future installments. The future of the monsterverse was always going to be centered around Godzilla and Kong, who were also the two main monsters of the universe in which they thrive, and the ones that have been carrying the franchise forward. In addition to the Godzilla sequel, Warner Bros. and Legendary Entertainment have shared their take on the franchise and announced that there is a Kong sequel also in development, with it ultimately leading towards the epic battle we saw in 2021 one that will be remembered for ages. Given how the movie ended, Godzilla becoming the king, the alpha titan on the surface, and Kong reigning as the king of the Hollow Earth, we should be expecting an even bigger battle in the planned sequel. Because after everything that has happened, we have yet to see who the winner of the battle is, something that was left unsaid on purpose for the movie. But in the meantime, news came through that there might be a Kong sequel in the works, with the working title being Kong 2 Son of Kong a movie that could change a whole lot in the MonsterVerse. Not much is known about the story side of the sequel, however, the projects planned before it might give us a clear picture as to what we should expect moving forward with the franchise. The other thing we should mention is the fact that the theory of the Hollow Earth is in fact true, a detail that will play a huge part in the upcoming events of the MonsterVerse, with it being one of the reasons why we should be excited for what is yet to come in this universe, which as it stands right now, is yet to unfold and many more Titans to be released from the shackles soon. As we mentioned before, there is a TV show spinoff, with it already confirmed to release on the Apple TV streaming service, and the setting of the series to be after the events of 2014's Godzilla movie. The synopsis of the series says that the story will cover a family with mysterious ties to the organization Monarch, after the prolific battle between Godzilla and the other Titans, and the series uncovering even more lore and mysteries surrounding the legacy and origin of the Titans that have already threatened to deliver total destruction to the world we know. Some have speculated about the fact that the Godzilla vs. Kong sequel is in fact the rumored Kong Son of Kong movie with the two being the same movies. However, from what we have managed to find, the two are entirely different projects, with the only thing being shared between the two is the fact that they are part of the same universe. And with that in mind, before we move forward with the fact of what will the side effects be of Kong's son arrival, we should first take a look at who exactly are we talking about. Legendary Pictures has yet to confirm what it plans are for the movie at hand. However, as more and more details start to emerge, we'll have something more to talk about and no more things for certain. The movie seems to be already in the works, as Adam Wingard's rumored negotiations must have gone through, with him right now being the one responsible for at the time uncertain Son of Kong adaptation, with that project possibly being the already confirmed Kong sequel. Regardless of Adam's input in what is yet to come, the title of the movie suggests a lot of things and where the story might take us, with the sequel showing us yet another outing from the 12-foot-tall offspring of Kong and a resident of the Skull Island, a place the MonsterVerse once visited. The whole transition from Kong to his son, Little Kong, suggests that King Kong found others like him from his species, and not just anyone, but rather family members. That is, if the adaptation follows the first movie closely, with minor details like Kong's death being the reason for Little Kong's arrival, and the whole thing shaped differently.
Little Kong's arrival could mean so much, with the focus of this Kong movie being shifted towards his son, and us not being a little disappointed about watching yet another Kong movie with him being the main protagonist of the story. The Kong sequel would also change the ending of Godzilla vs. Kong ending as well, because when the movie ended, the first impression we got about Kong was that he reached the conclusion of being the last of his kind, which eventually led him to Hollow Earth and his search for more. However, instead of more, he found skeletons of his ancestors and an abandoned temple. This ultimately made Kong accept his outcome of becoming the one to sit on the throne and be the new alpha of the Hollow Earth. On the other hand, Little Kong's arrival could give the ending of that movie a happier ending for Kong, and rather than being alone, he found at least one more member of his species, hence his son is brought into the world. The whole notion of things would then prove to Kong that his trip to the Hollow Earth was not for nothing and his adventure has meaning, which is the least the MonsterVerse can do for him after his parents were killed long ago by these skull crawlers and him finally getting the family he needs. The ending of Godzilla vs Kong perfectly indicated that Kong was able to achieve at least one of his goals in that becoming the one to sit on the throne, but not the other. He was given false hope by the humans, with them only using him to accomplish Apex's missions, and him eventually being left out with a new place to live, but only as the last surviving member of his species. A tragic arc of his story that could change for the better with the upcoming Kong 2 Son of Kong. If the MonsterVerse accepts this as the inevitable future of Kong, the fifth movie should not surprise you if it puts Kong in a completely different position from where we last saw him after the big fight with Godzilla. During the time skip, there is a chance that he could have become the leader of the new group of Kongs, surviving somewhere in the Hollow Earth world, with the change of his loner status opening the door for a new MonsterVerse ape to take the spotlight. The sequel will also give us a little more exploration of this mysterious and vast world, and what was the role of Kong species? One thing that confuses things for us though is the reason behind the fact of us seeing the Hollow Earth's exploration with Kong's son, and not the monster that just arrived after his big fight with Godzilla. One thing we can think of for this change could potentially be lying in the connection to the concept of the original Son of Kong movie, which as we said before, focused on a much younger and significantly smaller Kong. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the movie and Kong's son's arrival? Do you think he will be the big game changer, seeing how he will be the next big thing together with the whole concept of Hollow Earth, where Kong resides right now? But also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.